Hey Team FG community, John Yaconetti here with Carlo Cancino. In today's episode of Ask Team FG, we're going to be taking a look at the past quarter in the economy and in the markets. What has gone on and really where are we headed. But remember, if you do enjoy our content, like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We love doing these videos for you. In today's episode of Ask Team FG, we're going to be taking a look at what happened in quarter three of 2023. Um, it was a pretty volatile time uh, on all fronts in terms of inflation, interest rates, and the market. So we figured we'll get you started with a recap. Uh, and why don't we get started with interest rates? Because that's been a hot topic for a lot of our clients um, and how it's been affecting them. Sure. Thanks, John. Interest rates, this has been something that's been talked about for the last 18 months. Should we raise them? Should we not? Well, you know, at the beginning of the year, that's when the rates started uh, increasing. And it had their desired effect. Yep. Inflation, we saw dropping from 8% down all the way to where it is. And I'll let John talk about that afterwards. I don't want to give it away anything too soon. So the Bank of Canada raised and paused rates to 5%. Now, what does this mean? With the Bank of Canada rate at 5%, that means all the other lending facilities have increased their rates as well. And the point of all these interest rate increases is to try to slow down consumption, slow people down from borrowing to buy new homes, to do renovations at their home. Businesses are no longer borrowing to expand uh, or uh, grow their businesses. So essentially, it slows down the economy and in effect should drop inflation, get prices slowing down in terms of their increase. And uh, it's all excellent points there. And that has been working um, uh, up until recently. So uh, at its highest point in Canada, inflation was up over 8%. We have seen that steady decline uh, really in the past nine months uh, and, and has continued to drop. However, there was a little bit of a blip. So in July of 2023, at its lowest point, inflation was at about 3.3%. Uh, more recently in the September number that was just released, uh, it has risen back up to about 4% for inflation. So we have been hovering around this target of 3.3 to 4. Ideally, where the Bank of Canada would like it would be around 2% to 3%. So we've gotten a lot better, but we're still missing that target. Uh, and that's why it, uh, interest rates have remained high and where they are. Until we're at that target, that 2 to 3%, and we stay there and, and for a prolonged period of time, that's when we probably will start to see those interest rates begin to ease off. We're not quite there yet. I, I think it's important to note that when inflation drops to the desired level, it's not as though prices are going to go back yeah. to where they were prior to uh, this inflationary period. It just means that the increase of those prices year over year are going to slow down. It was at a very unsustainable rate. People remember seeing gas prices shoot up to $2 a liter at one point. Lumber costs were doubling, tripling uh, for s things as simple as two by fours. Mm. So people just have to remember that as the interest rates go up and they pause and they allow that to take its effect on the economy, prices will still increase annually, just not at the same rate. Yeah, it's trying to slow down that rate of growth so we're able to catch up, right? So the incomes are able to catch up to the expense side of things. Um, but the other side of the coin that we've started to see uh, you know, take effect to the inflation and interest rate uh, situation is the stock markets. So just as I mentioned before, as inflation was starting to decline back in July, stock markets were rising uh, because you know, stock markets are the expected future value. So the, the thought of a slower uh, or inflation slowing down means interest rates will come down soon after and therefore markets will pick back up. So that's why markets or, or stock markets specifically were good in July. They slowly started to taper off as we got into August and September as that inflation number began to creep up a little bit more. Um, so, full disclosure, we are shooting this video before the end of the quarter, so uh, before September 30th. Uh, so things may change in the, in the last week, but as of right now, markets have slowed down with news about uh, in inflation uh, and interest remaining at a high point for the future. All this being said, interest rates, they're going to do what the Bank of Canada wants them to do, or other central banks around the world. And inflation is going to uh, go up and down as the economy continues on and as the interest rates go up and down. But that shouldn't impact what you're doing out there with your portfolios. John talked about the stock market. Stock companies are like individuals. Yep. Similar to individuals who stop spending when certain expenses get too high, like borrowing costs, companies that have debt have increased borrowing costs as well. 
So in order to maintain profitability for their shareholders, they've got to cut costs elsewhere. And so good companies, good individuals adapt to their environment. So if you believe in capitalism or if you believe in innovation, or if you believe that good companies will just find ways to make money, then you need to be staying invested in your portfolio. Yeah, and exactly to your point there, Carlo, where the businesses are controlling what they can control and, and focusing on, on themselves, you should be doing the exact same thing with yourself. You know, focusing on what can I do based on these current market situations, whether that be redoing your budget or, or you know, finding ways to kind of cut back and save costs uh, just to get through these times. Uh, because we know these times don't last forever, but we, what can we do about it right now? That's you know, focusing on what you can control. So that's our Q3 review. Again, if you do like our content, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a like or provide us with some comments. How are you adapting to this higher interest rate environment? What are you doing to uh, free up cash flow in, in your lives? Until next time, I'm Carlo Cancino. I'm John Yoconetti. And this has been Ask, Ask Team FG. FG.